this week, I'm going to be doing a sketch of a German Shepherd puppy. Now, this was inspired by my daughter's best friend Madeline and her new puppy, Ivy. Look at those floppy ears. Isn't she cute? Okay, so now, when you start the sketch, I'm going to use a toned piece of paper, yellow, and I'm going to just do with my blue pencil, like I always do, and just get a rough shape for the dog. Now, I go through quite a few different variations of the ears, because I wasn't really sure which way I wanted to make it, but Ivy's ears kind of flop towards the center, so that's kind of what I decided to do in the end. And you'll see I kind of go down and up and back and forth, but kind of flopping towards each other, I think, was the best solution. Now, after the sketch is done, I quickly put in flat color. That's what the white was, so I could see the edges. And I go through and put in some airbrush, some brown and black and some white, and then just go right in and start on the eyes. I like to do the eyes first to give it some life, then the nose, and I use a textured brush to do the nose, then start it in from the top, going from top to bottom, starting with the ears, a little pink in there, and not doing a whole lot with fur texture at this point, just laying in lights and darks with the base color, okay, not putting in the shadows and the highlights. I'm going to talk about that in just a second. Now, as I'm going through the mouth and the muzzle area there, I did kind of come in there and erase some of that black out, but then started putting in the highlights in. And this time, what I did for this puppy was I did a overlay layer with uh, the layer on multiply and just use blue to draw the shadow area. And then I put an overlay area and put it on yellow and put it on screen. And then I did that for the highlight area. Instead of creating a, a light color, and a, and a dark color fur, I just use that kind of like a shortcut and make it go a little faster. You can see there I was trying to figure out what to do with that background. Couldn't figure it out. I did struggle a little bit on the legs trying to get that fur to look right. But again, this is just a quick sketch, so I'm not spending a whole lot of time on anything here. Uh, just going through and I put here, you can see where the shadows are coming in and the highlights are coming in. This is just, like I said, an overlay layer and a uh, set to multiply for the shadows using blue to do the drawing with, not brown or black. And then the highlight one is using ye a yellow screen layer. Draw with that, with the yellow, and it kind of gives it that color. And then I decided I wanted to do a blue light coming from the right to give it a little bit of rim light. And then I'm going to do a yellow light coming from the left to give it, make it pop off the background a little better. And that's all. Very quick. Hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe.